In today's video for the first ascendant we're going to be going over one of the most important things you should know and that's going to be about crystallization catalysts and the fastest way that you can get hold of them. I'll be piecing together a step by step guide on how I believe you can get these the best way by farming all the resources needed for them. Now the first piece of the puzzle to this and by far the most time consuming is going to be grabbing the blueprint. In order to get hold of this I found the best way is to farm yourself some patterns and then try and get it from boss drops. In order to do this we're going to head over to Vespers and from there you're going to want to go over to your difficulty setting put it onto normal. From here you're going to go straight over to the outpost, this one just here, Timberfall and just up from there is going to be the infiltration mission, the shelter. Remember with all infiltration missions you can actually go straight from the home hub area of Albion which I'll show you in the next part of this. But just make your way through this mission taking out all the enemies and if you've got a bunny obviously it will be a little bit faster because they're the fastest clear up in the game. But once you complete the mission, once you've completed this mission, you're going to grab yourself a guaranteed pattern. You're going to want to farm a whole bunch of these because unfortunately the actual drop we're after is only around about 15%. From there you're then going to go over, tackle the normal boss of the executioner, take them out and hope for the best that you get the drop you need. So use your pattern and hopefully you'll be able to grab what you're after, the blueprint for the crystallization catalyst. So you'll be ready to move on to the next. I found myself having around about 21 of these maps usually yielded roughly three crystallization catalyst blueprints. Over to the next part and like I said I'll show you exactly how to get to all your infiltration missions just in case anyone doesn't know. From your home area you're going to go straight to here, the operations terminal and this time we're going to be heading over in this direction to the sterile land and the mission the Forgottens. Again you're going to want to make your way through the mission but for this one luckily enough you don't have to fully complete it. Once you've seen this area we go up to the keypad short while later you're going to make it over to these platforms and always at the very bottom platform just here is going to be a yellow elite enemy called the elite tracker. This one is nice and easy to get hold of after that you're going to pick up the resources you're going to get the heck out of there and I found even on normal you've got roughly about the same. Sometimes doing it on hard mode gave you a few extra so it all depends how fast you are clearing. So now that we've got both of those drops, we're going to be after some Macro Molecule Biogel. This one's actually one of the easier ones to get hold of, you're going to make it over to the Echo Swamp and then if you can try to put it to private as it makes things a little bit easier and sometimes the timers aren't run down on these areas. You're going to want to spawn in just over here and then make your way over to both of these outposts. What you're going to be doing is just farming an enemy, nice and simple, very fast to do and this is undoubtedly one of the easier ones to do on the list. Just crack through, the main mission is going to be destroying those kind of energy containers at the sides and then taking out the boss or elite enemy that spawns straight afterwards. Once you've done this, look on the floor, you're going to want to make sure you pick up the macro molecule biogel and then make your way round and head over to the very next area, which you'll be doing exactly the same again. Now for a few extra drops you can change this to hard mode but the reason I do it on normal is because I just cracked for it much much faster and I found that the actual health of those containers ramped up massively as did the difficulty of the missions. So for ease probably set to normal and you'll be able to make things a lot smoother most times. For our next one this is going to be advanced normal circuits. Probably the best area for this let me know in the comments because I've seen a few places but this is probably the best one. It's going to be going over to White Knight Gulch and then making your way over to this outpost and then heading down to the border line of truth mission. The way to it is actually quite nice and easy, you're just going to hug the mountain range, make sure you're kind of staying to the left hand side and winding your way around until you make it to the mission and then you're going to be in an area where you're tackling and taking out all of the enemies within. All of the standard enemies are quite easy to defeat and even the toughest ones aren't too difficult most times but the main thing you're after is going to be the three elites that spawn as each of these can drop these goodies ranging from two to three each time. Now for the final one this one is a little bit complicated and I'm not going to go too in depth on this we're going to be going over how you can pick up mixed energy residue. The best way that I've found now is by far going to encrypted vaults and opening them up however it does work best with an Enzo if you're them or you have a friend or you team up in some way shape or form as they'll be able to do the ultra precision versions whereas the rest of us it really is a little bit difficult but just do the lower ones if you need to so using normal code breakers and the Agna Desert is where you're going to want to go. There's quite a few places that actually hold these and all you could be doing if you don't know what to do with vaults is to press your scanner in every once in a while making your way towards the beep, you'll see a wave on the screen 
make your way towards the bape. There's usually one just over in this direction. But it's actually been taken by someone else within the vicinity. So we're going to try again. And this time we've got a beep heading over this way. So we're going to follow it and then make our way all the way around. Remember with the lower versions of these vaults you shouldn't really have too many issues with it but with some of the higher ones it can be a bit of a pain because if you do actually muck it up you're going to lose your code breaker in the process. Use the version of the code breaker that you need to and you should be able to get yourself a nice reward. Sometimes I've found that there's other rewards in this so it's not always the actual mixed energy residue you're after but most times in the Agna Desert it usually is. Also since the last update there is a way to get hold of this without doing this. All it's going to be do missions within the Agna Desert and certain monsters will also drop this resource. Unfortunately though at the moment whenever I've been doing it it will only yield about one per monster so it is definitely a slower way to do it because again with the last update they actually upped how much is dropped from those vaults themselves so that's by far the fastest way. But yeah now you've got everything you can pop back to the actual Albion and craft to your heart's desire making yourself a whole punch more powerful. Hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out there'll be a lot more content in the way from me. As always Wolfins Gaming take care. I'll see you on next day.